Hello farmers, is this a common sight in your farm? I guess many farms store their chemicals like this. Well, today I have a short but crucial topic on agrochemical classification and storage. In Kenya, all farm chemical regulations are done by Pest Control and Products Board, PCPB. The board acts as a referee in the agrochemical industry and it is formed by Pest Control Products Act. There are four chemical classes recognized by PCPB. These classifications are also recognized by World Health Organization. Each class is color coded for easy identification. Class 1, coded in a red color, is considered to be extremely toxic. Even small quantities of this class is considered very toxic. Green color codes for chemicals least likely to cause acute hazard. PCPB also lists a number of banned chemicals or chemicals that cannot be used in Kenya. Classification is necessary as chemical use is a risk that calls for some level of responsibility. Chemical use can lead to poisoning of oneself or others. This may be intentional or not. Chemicals are manufactured for specific purpose and have prescribed rates. This should not be ignored. Wrong use of chemicals can lead to negative effects on the environment that we all depend on. And of course, agrochemicals can be stolen if not stored safely. Some of the chemicals are quite expensive. So, how can a farmer tell the class of chemical he is using? Well, all pesticides have a color band on the container or the packet indicating their class. This is the band I'm talking about. You can see there are some pictures included to serve as visual instructions. This color, green, indicates class U. On this container, the color is yellow, indicating class 2 for moderate toxicity. On this box, the color is blue for class 3. And now I'll show you how I store my chemicals. I have constructed a lockable cabinet to serve as my chemicals box. I decided to fix it on the wall of my tools store. The store is well ventilated. The chemical box is about 5 feet from the floor and does not affect my daily activities. Some physical effort is however necessary to access the box, even for an adult. Inside the box, I have partitioned sections for various chemicals. I have pesticides for crops and animals. There are also sections for livestock, drugs and syringes. The areas are also labeled. But if you have a bigger farm, I think you can separate the chemicals further into pesticides and fungicides. But this setup works for my small farm. I also like the habit of storing similar drugs and pesticides using FIFO system. That is fast in, fast out method. This method avoids older chemicals expiring before they are used. New ones or ones with farthest expiry date are stored at the back. And that's it. I've just shown you how I store chemicals in my farm. Ensure unauthorized access to farm chemicals is controlled. And so I wouldn't recommend any farmer to be comfortable with this site. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.